Essex North Shore Agricultural and Technical School is a unique learning community located on our beautiful 110 acre campus. We offer 25 career technical education programs that have been approved by the Mass Department of Elementary and Secondary Education. Our mission is to train people um, and to gain apprenticeships in a specific uh, program or a specific job. Um, when you leave here, you'll know how to do something. There's so many opportunities that I've found from here that just weren't present to me going to a standard high school. There's organizations I never knew about, such as FFA, which is absolutely amazing, changed my life in many ways, and there's so many more opportunities related to my career in technical education as well. It's so different than staying in the classroom five days a week, 180 days, and like here you switch it up, you get more of an education. I feel like you learn more here for learning a trade than just learning math, science, English, history. You're learning something that maybe you want to do for the rest of your life. We have um, a lot of students that take advantage of a variety of opportunities for after graduation. Um, we do have about over 70% of our school students go off to two or four year colleges. Um, and then we have other students who go off to apprenticeship programs. And then a lot of our students can earn their college credit with the articulation agreements that we have with colleges. So we have a lot that go off um, and already are earning credit in college just by taking their CTE programs here. One of the things the schools offers is a co-op program. We have the opportunity to go out in the workforce and work, and although we're learning more about our career there, we're also learning about workplace skills and management. You know, some people would choose to go to college for, whereas we can start learning that our junior year, and it's led me to, at the age of 16, work a full-time job making over minimum wage, and I don't think that's something that I would be able to do if I went to a regular high school. I have an option to be doing hands-on things but also learning in academics too but like being in shop helps me learn other things and I feel like it helps me know more for like my career in the future so I can get to higher places. They're able to enter their program, start the learning their trade or their technical program and are able to leave high school with a jump start on students who may attend a regular comprehensive high school. Our health assisting students are getting their CNA right now. We have multiple certifications in, in different, you know, different programs and I don't think you can get that anywhere else and that's why you would come here. To learn 21st century skills you know, for the jobs that are out there now, um, that's what I think we try to train you in. I'm getting certifications right now that I wouldn't have gotten for like many years into college, like, but I'm getting them now. It's really focused. It's really for people that want to be different and experience a different level kind of school. It's not just the shop, it's the people. Um, they're so incredibly easy to work with and they make me feel so comfortable and the people here are absolutely amazing and understanding and they really, they really know how to help you figure out where you want to go. They help you a lot. Help you for the real world, for college, for just a job, a career. It's a just all around good school. Coming here is, an, is a, the best choice you could make. You make so many new friends and everybody is just so kind and everybody is here because they're, they're different. They have different minds. They, are, they like to work and if you're like that, then I think it's a good idea to come here. And if you're not like that, then I think it's a good idea to come here to figure it out. Finding my place, like finding my role, finding my choices, creating a path, that's really what the school's all about. We do it differently here, but I think our mission is really clear. Um, and that's to prepare students for the 21st century skills that they'll see you know, when they leave. You have to try it. You may not like it, you may feel uncomfortable with not knowing anybody here, but you meet so many new people from so many different places and so many different lifestyles. You just, you become to love it. Hi, I'm Janet Norris. I'm one of the assistant principals at the Essex North Shore Agricultural and Technical School, and I work in admissions. I'd like to tell you a little bit more about what our school has to offer. 
if you are coming from one of our surrounding communities as opposed to our member districts, you're eligible to participate in seven different agricultural technical programs. Three of them are in animal science, three are in the plant science arena, and one is environmental sciences and technologies. In addition to the career technical education program that one would study, there is an academic program. A student would study English, math, history, science, and electives. We offer our courses at all levels, college prep, accelerated college prep, honors, and AP courses as well. Now Ms. Mello, one of our admissions counselors, is gonna tell you about the admissions process. Hi, my name is Ms. Mello. I am an admissions counselor here at Essex North Shore Agricultural and Technical School. We are located in Hathorne, Massachusetts, which is a subset of Danvers. We're right on the Danvers and Middleton line. Currently, we have about 1,566 kids enrolled in our school. Um, for our admissions process, we look at your grades, attendance, and conduct or discipline records from all of seventh grade and then the first half of eighth grade. We also ask a school counselor to send a recommendation rating as well as conducting an interview for anyone who applies. This year for the admissions process, we will not be able to host in-person tours or an open house. We are not yet sure what will be happening with the open house, but we know we will not be doing an in-person version of it. We're currently working on some videos to send out to families and counselors, so more information will be coming for that. Um, for the interview process, again, we don't know how that will work this year, whether it will be in-person or virtual. We'll have to see when the time comes. To learn more about our school and our admissions process, go to our website, 